2020 sure was a tough year for all of us, but we still got some amazing games like Genshin Impact and Guardian Tales. So the question is, can 2021 beat that? Hey AG Nation, I'm Ben and today on Android GameSpot, the top 10 best RPG games for Android of 2021. These are of course my own picks and I would love to hear yours down in the comments. A quick reminder to subscribe and turn on the bell for more videos just like this. Now let's dive right in. Number 10 Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Starting with some classic stuff, the first trilogy of the amazing Final Fantasy series is getting a somewhat of a remaster. Yes, Pixel Remaster is the OG 2D visuals with remastered graphics and audio. So is it worth it? Let me put it this way. If you see yourself as a casual RPG fan, I would say no. These are sort of inferior to the PSP and mobile remakes with less additional content. But if you're a diehard Final Fantasy fan, like myself, yes, absolutely. The technical issue issues are overshadowed by the game's balancing tweaks, improved 16-bit style visuals and the masterpiece rearranged soundtrack. If I could squeeze in one request to Square Enix for a future patch is the font. Please make the font less horrible. And I just have to add in something about the price. Either drop the price to something under 10 bucks each, ideally $4.99 with a bundle price for each trilogy. Number 9. Atelier Online As a newcomer to the series, Atelier Online Alchemist of Brestisol is my first entry into the saga and the game follows the story of an apprentice of alchemy on your quest of becoming the land's greatest alchemist. For those of you unfamiliar with the Atelier series, collecting, gathering and crafting are the focus here gameplay wise. And you will have to collect not just materials but characters too, with tons of customization options for each. The combat is turn based and is pretty fun and best for last. This made for mobile Atelier also lets you play with up to 3 of your friends in co-op online play. On the downside, it's sporting a heavy pay to win system for the gacha mode so gacha fans beware. Number 8. Titan Quest Legendary Edition The Legendary Edition of Titan Quest released earlier in 2021 and includes the paid DLC and is a must play for top down view action RPG fans, especially if you don't already own the vanilla version. You fight as a hero fighting titans that threaten the lands and your journey will have you traversing a diversity of locations and we're talking places like Greece, Egypt, China and more. Gameplay wise you'll be going against hordes of enemies with different swords bows and magic spells. You can also recruit a pet companion that will assist you during battle. The DLC's expansions will include Atlantis, Ragnarok and Immortal Throne, so plenty of content for newcomers and long term fans. Titan Quest Legendary Edition is definitely the complete package and is easily worth the price tag. Number 7. My Hero Academia The Strongest Hero even if you're not a fan of the anime, you probably have heard of My Hero Academia and The Strongest Hero is the anime's latest game on mobile. Unlike the manga series that portrays the journey of Izuku who lives in a world of superpowers showing his struggles, adventures and desire to become a hero as well. The game lets you play as other characters from the series which brings me to the gacha mode of the game. You can create a squad and customize them to your likings or go solo if that's more of your thing. The design and voiceover is authentic to the original work, the combat is fast paced and flashy, no complaints there and it doesn't hurt that it's a pretty looking game. Definitely try it out if you like what you see. Number 6. Saga Frontier Remastered the latest revision of the classic Saga Frontier lets you choose a hero of your likings and set out on a story unique to you with different quests and endings for each character. The visuals are gorgeous and the gameplay mechanics will grab you and not let go if you're on the lookout for a weird RPG. Although the UI is an absolute disaster and the entire game is letterboxed. However, with this remaster on mobile and as it has become standard with Square Enix, you're looking at a decent game with some flaws and a high price tag. Still, Saga Frontier Remastered has cloud saving, controller support and a lot of appeal if you can afford the high fee or better yet, wait for a sale. Number 5. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered the original Final Fantasy VIII back in 99 was my first entry in the series and is still to this day my favorite of all. So of course it was a pleasure getting to replay this highly controversial and yet deeply charming with its hate to love him main character and the sweet but complex plotline. 
the battle system is pretty solid and the soundtrack is easily one of the best in the series and you would be happy to know that an update added the much anticipated controller support for both Android and iOS making this an even better experience for hard eye fans and newcomers. Plus the collectors get to add the one missing game up to the 9th. Highly recommend this one. Number 4 This Gaia RPG for most of its lifetime the Disgaea series came out exclusively on PC and consoles. Well, that's not the case anymore, with the recent release on mobile of Disgaea RPG being the latest. The story follows a group of characters as they go through many adventures in the netherworld. Combat wise Disgaea is a tactical turn based RPG played in portrait mode. The visuals are anime inspired and the game features cloud saving so as long as you're logged in through the same Facebook account you can play it on as many devices as possible. You will appreciate this even more once you start playing because honestly the game is very addictive and you're constantly leveling up and progressing which is awesome to be honest. And another cool feature is the separate story mode that recaps the older games and you can even switch back to their art styles and more. This guy RPG is one of those games you just have to try for yourself. Number 3 Near Reincarnation The wait for Near Reincarnation was finally through this summer and we finally got one of the most awaited RPGs on mobile this year so does the game match the hype? Well the artwork is absolutely gorgeous, the settings definitely have that trademark near melancholy and the amazing musical score completes it beautifully. There are microtransactions but thankfully they're not thrown in your face every 30 seconds like a lot of mobile games. The combat controls feels gripping and rewarding, all of what I mentioned plus the rest that you will find out for yourself while playing it makes Reincarnation one of the best console games on mobile and a must play no questions asked. Number 2 Punishing Grey Raven Easily the biggest RPG released this year on mobile for many, Punishing Grey Raven is a stylish hack and slash RPG with sci-fi elements. The story takes place in a post-apocalyptic future where humanity has been pushed to near extinction after a fatal virus known as the Punishing has wiped out nearly all organic life on the planet, with the corrupted machines ruling supreme now. You play as a commander of a squad which you can swap team members with the gacha system and the combat is flashy, fast paced and explosive. The game is also designed for those in and out short sessions minimizing the grind and I find myself often wondering which is the better game, Punishing Grey Raven or Honkai Impact 3rd. What do you think? Number 1 Trials of Mana the third game in the Mana series landed at last on mobile platforms and Trials of Mana is an action RPG that is loads of fun to play and with a lot to offer. And yes as it is often the case with Square Enix the price tag is high but at least for this one it sort of makes sense. Why? Well you're getting the full console experience with nothing left out. The 3D graphics looks great and so is the soundtrack. The combat is fun and intuitive and it has a lot of the secret of mana, heart and charm. So if you've liked that game chances are you're gonna love this one. And so to answer the question is 2021 better than 2020 for mobile RPGs I personally say yes. absolutely and the games in this video prove that. More diversity and more consistency in 21. But hey, that's my opinion and I would love to know yours down in the comments below. And that sums up my top 10 RPGs on Android for 2021. Of course as always if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you give it a like and if you're new consider subscribing. New videos like this and more every week. And a big special thank you to the AG members, link is down below if you want to support the channel. Once again I'm Ben, thank you AG Nation for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Android GameSpot. Stay epic!